So today was the release of the new Counter-Strike Global Offensive update that includes the big thing, a new revolver pistol to uh, replace your Desert Eagle. And we're going to have videos left and right talking about the gun, its perks. The video I suggest you check out is my friend Backstab Gaming. And he's going to have a full video that I helped him work on uh, talking about the actual gameplay aspects of this update. But I wanted to talk about something a little bit more technical. And I had to dig in through a whole lot of files to try to figure out what this update will do for performance and configuration. And I think this is probably the worst update in those respects. Um, I, usually I tell everyone to you know check out your video.txt file to modify and put your settings in and all that jazz. Well, now you gotta go back and uh, where is it? There should be an app cache. Where was it? User data it is user data, and you find whatever you are, your, I guess, whatever number, and then you end up finding this folder. 730 is usually Counter Strike, and uh, then you have this right here, and you could, uh, this is kind of like the cloud sync settings, I guess, would be the best way to call this. And then you have your local configuration files right here, and this is where things will be modified, and you will not be modifying them. Sadly, I want Valve to change this immediately. I do not like this. And then you have the remote files here. And I haven't found any way that you can consistently modify the video.txt file. As you can see here, now it puts everything to negative one. I modified them all over and on and off in the game. And it seems, well, you'll see, you'll see in my video, I'm real flustered. So let's get to the in, in game right now. Okay. So here we are, we're in uh, Counter-Strike. And this is what the video setting screen looks like now. Now, before I came to this screen, uh, on my last boot, these were the settings that I used. Those were the things that I applied. And I could verify that by when I go back to um, the folder that I showed you. Um, like the cloud sync type folder, um, these settings were there. And then on every boot, it will reset to the automatic setting, and there's no way you could manually change it. If you manually change it, it'll load the video defaults, which would be, um, you know, 1080p widescreen and everything on auto. So, you know, you're fine if you boot up, you change this. That should stick like that pretty well. But as soon as you quit and you come back, which I'm going to do right now. So I just quit out the game. And you can see that this is recently updated for the time that I'm recording this. The settings are on high, low, off, 16x, and um, low textures and models. But mem level and Q mode are on automatic, which is fine for some respects. But I would really like to manually set these both to two instead. And shadow level is on three like I would like it. So this is what it looks like here. OK, so now we're back in the game. And look at that. I go right to back to the video menu. It's like this. And I didn't have to apply anything. That's just what the settings are right now. So I'm going to do this one more time. High, low, high, low, enabled, none, 16, apply, back, and then I'm going to quit. And this time I'm going to go back into the game, load the game up. I'm going to alt tab out and I'm going to see what the settings look like in the file once the game boots up without me going to the video um, 
configuration panel. Okay, so Raptor is initialized. I'm not gonna go there. So let's alt tab out. And there's the file. It's already been modified and everything's on auto again. This is insanity. I set my settings for a reason, not for the game to change them. I'll even load up a game here. Okay, I mean, it's a little stuttery because I'm doing recording and all that other business in the background. It is on auto, and it does appear to be on the lowest settings like I set them. It does. Yeah, shadows are right. Shadow distance seems right. Model detail is nice and low. No frills, no shaders are going on. That's great and all. But this can't continue like this. You need to be able to disable the automatic settings. Because do you, does, does Valve even read? The, uh, the Reddit complaints about FPS drops with every update, this is a humongous red flag that everyone just needs to get on them and say, disable this. Because I try to help so many people on Reddit and other places getting their performance the way it should be, and settings need to stick. They cannot keep reverting to auto. Because, yeah, my computer could handle everything on high and I could still get 300+, plus. But that's not the point. I set my settings for a reason. And whatever developer, you, you know, uh, said this, this was a good idea, I mean, should just take this revolver right now. Just straight to the head. Done. Don't like it. Everything else, though, this is great. I mean, it doesn't matter where you shoot somebody. It's 114 damage. That makes sense. unarmed enemies, I mean, you could just pretty much just plow right through them right now with this, but that's not the point. The point is, settings need to stick, and a fancy gun isn't going to make me happy over this, especially when I could just Glock train anyone, so 